right, welcome back to the Tech Corner. I'm George Silla, Senior Markets Contributor here with the Schwab Network. Uh, today we're going to reevaluate NVIDIA Incorporation. In fact, if you want to watch the first video on NVIDIA back in March, you can click above. Now, NVIDIA Incorporation is a leading infrastructure computing technology company, known primarily for its innovations in accelerated computing. The company operates through two main segments, computing and networking, as well as graphics. Now, the compute and networking segment includes data center, accelerated computing platforms, AI solutions, networking, and automotive platforms. This segment also covers robotics and cloud computing services. The graphics segment offers GeForce GPUs for gaming and PCs and RTX GPUs for enterprise graphics. NVIDIA's GPUs are celebrated for their parallel processing capabilities, which are essential for deep learning algorithms and AI solutions. Most of the core secular growth has been in data center solutions as of late, but the company also supports a wide range of industries, including healthcare, automotive, and manufacturing, with solutions tailored to specific applications. Now, when it comes to competition, mainstay domestic competitors include companies like Advanced Micro Devices, symbol AMD, Intel Incorporated, as well as Broadcom, symbol AVGO. On an international front, companies like Huawei and China are mainstay competitors as well. Now, let's take a look at some of the unique value propositions behind NVIDIA. First, one unique value lies in its comprehensive platform strategy that integrates hardware, software, as well as AI solutions. The company's proprietary programming model and domain-specific software libraries enable superior performance in AI model training as well as inference. The company's extensive experience in investment in research and development further solidifies its position as the pioneer in industry, delivering advanced solutions across various sectors. Now, in recent news, going back to November 20th, the company reported its Q3 financials, whereby both top and bottom line numbers beat estimates. The company said it earned $1.30 per share on an adjusted basis, as well as revenue that soared 62% year-over-year that came in around $57.01 billion. Advancing forward to the fourth quarter of fiscal 2026, NVIDIA expects to generate $65 billion in revenue versus the $62 billion approximate forecasted revenue prior to the earnings announcement. Exceptional revenue growth last quarter was fueled by robust demand from generative AI labs and hyperscalers. The data center segment, which compromises the largest constituent of sales, drove 66% year-over-year growth with vigorous demand from both U.S. and European clients, which offset most of the decline in Chinese revenue due to export restrictions. They even guided as a company for fiscal Q4 with gross margins over 75%, which reinforces the strong AI data center growth and earnings trends. Also, most recently, NVIDIA is under pressure after a report that Meta Platforms is in talks to spend billions of dollars on Google's AI chips, which presents a formidable competitor. Now, we have to consider lots of positives with NVIDIA. First off, Q3 earnings highlighted effective data center growth, driven by significant demand for Blackwell GPUs and a robust order book extending into 2026. This positions NVIDIA as a leader in the AI market. Now, NVIDIA's dominance in AI and data center GPU markets means demand from big tech, which continues to invest heavily in AI, is bolstered by strong spending, suggesting robust long-term demand for its Blackwell GPUs. NVIDIA's financial performance is underpinned by a strong balance sheet and significant free cash flow, enabling ongoing investments in R&D as well as strategic expansions. The company also has high profitability when compared to sector competitors, as well as its own five-year averages. This translates into high efficiency. For example, gross margins on a four-quarter trailing basis top 70%, well above the sector median of around 49%, as well as its own historical averages on a five-year basis of 66%. This highlights the company's effectiveness in converting sales into profits. Now, despite over $4 trillion in market capitalization, NVIDIA's valuation may still be considered cheap when considering looking at it from a peg ratio standpoint, which is essentially looking at the P-E ratio to its growth rate. For instance, the P-E ratio on a forward basis is estimated to be, based on consensus, at around 39 times earnings. However, its earnings estimates in terms of growth rates are expected to be over 80%. This suggests a peg ratio of less than one, which may be a good value considering its growth rates. Now, despite the positives I just addressed, we also have to address some of the concerns. First off, there are concerns about a potential AI spending bubble, which have recently been raised, which could impact NVIDIA if the market demand for AI infrastructure declines. NVIDIA's reliance on AI growth could pose risks if key deals or market conditions change unfavorably. The company's exposure to geopolitical tensions, especially regarding sales to China, still remains a concern, possibly affecting its ability to fully capitalize on the AI market. Now, competition from domestic rivals is heating up. These include companies that I mentioned earlier, like AMD, Intel, as well as Broadcom, 
This could eventually erode market share and dominance. We have to also consider Google as a mainstay competitor, which is very formidable. Now, NVIDIA's growth may normalize eventually with concerns about the sustainability of its high growth rates and margin pressures from the production of new Blackwell chips as well. Now, let's take into consideration the technical picture of NVIDIA post-earnings. First off, despite a one-month decline of roughly 8%, year-to-date NVIDIA's performance has still bested the broader market by nearly double, up 30% approximately versus the S&P 500's increase of approximately 14%. The stock right now is trading below its 20 and 50 day moving averages, which suggests near term weakness in price action. Let's also keep in mind that a cross back above the 50 day moving average would be a confirmation of a renewed uptrend. The stock is still above its 200 day moving average, which is pointed up, indicating that the intermediate term trend is still bullish. However, the next level of technical support of approximately $165 published in early September is still something we have to consider alongside that rising 200 day moving average as potential support. Now, in summary, NVIDIA's products are utilized by a diverse range of customers, including OEM manufacturers, cloud service providers, and automotive companies as well. The company's innovation-driven approach has led to significant investments in R&D, positioning it as a leader in the AI and accelerated computing ranks. Strong partnerships with leading cloud service providers and its robust data center solutions further reinforce its market position, making it a preferred choice for enterprises seeking scalable and efficient computing infrastructure potentially for years to come. That's it for this week's edition of the Tech Corner. We're going to carry the theme of semiconductors next week when we revisit Intel Incorporated. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Schwab Network. I'm George Tillis. We'll see you next week.